Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. To, and today, the New York Knicks have extended Knicks small forward Josh Hart, who they acquired at the trade deadline, and Josh Hart, who opted into his player option uh, to avoid being a free agent, which actually a lot of people thought he was going to opt out of that contract, and he opted in. I mean, everybody kind of knew an extension was coming for Josh Hart after he opted into that player option. I think just the big factor was when and for how much. And Josh Hart got a pretty decent extension. Four years, $81 million, which is just a little bit over $20 million a year. I think it's about $20.4, $20.5 million a year for Josh Hart. I think a really, really solid deal for Josh Hart here um, getting a contract. Uh, extension with the New York Knicks. Um, he was acquired at the trade deadline for Cam Reddish and a couple other players. You know, nothing, nothing it was Cam Reddish and s- like two other players, but you know, not it was like Ryan Ardijancha. It was, it was a couple other solid players, but at the same time, you know, they they weren't they were you know nobodies. Hate to say it, um, and also a first round pick, and there might have been another draft pick involved. Um, and that first round pick, I think, was either like, I think that first round pick was, that Portland got was like pick twenty three, the pick that they got uh, from New York was pick twenty three. So ultimately, ultimately ended up getting Cameron Reddish and uh, the twenty third overall pick in the draft and a couple of their solid players for a guy who was going to be a free agent in Josh Hart and was going to probably leave the Portland Trailblazers. Um, so, I mean, I, th- I thought that was a solid return from the, uh, Portland Trailblazers with what they did and, you know, getting back for Josh Hart, uh, cause I don't think they're going to be able to resign him. Um, with Portland, he played 51 games with 51 starts and he averaged nine and a half points per game with eight rebounds per game, four assists per game. And his three point percentage was 30, 31%. And then he joined as just a total flip, just a total change with with New York. He joined New York, played twenty five games with one start. He averaged ten point two points per game, seven rebounds per game, four assists per game, and he shot fifty one percent from three. Fifty or actually fifty two percent. It's fifty one point nine. I'm just gonna round to fifty two percent. He averaged fifty two percent from three with the New York Knicks. Um, and was attempting four threes a game or was attempting two and a half threes per game i mean obviously he wasn't taking you know he didn't you know that was his average um but i mean yeah had just played way better in new york playoffs uh new york played 11 games in the playoffs he's he started in five of them and he averaged 10.4 points per game with seven and a half rebounds per game two assists per game and his three-point percentage was 32 percent. so not as good as the regular season um, I mean, I would say his probably best year in the NBA was with Portland, uh, when he played when he played thirteen games in Portland in the twenty one twenty two season after uh, Portland traded CJ McCollum to the Pelicans for Josh Hart in a you know in, a, in just a whole package, and he averaged twenty points per game in those thirteen in those thirteen games. Um, you know, he's been a really solid player. He's a good three point shooter. He's a good defender, good rebounder, especially for a shooting guard slash small forward. Um, I love this extension for the Knicks. I think the Knicks are going to be way better than they were last year with a full season of Josh Hart and adding in some new players like Dante DiVincenzo maybe being a little more healthy this season. I think the Knicks have a shot of being a little bit better than they were last season. I just think some of the Eastern team, the Eastern Conference teams have gotten a little bit better. I feel like the East has gotten just a tiny bit better. So and when I look at it like that, I mean, maybe the Knicks won't be as good as they were last year. Um, but I think the Knicks will be a really solid basketball team this year. Year two of Brunson with the Knicks, full year with Josh Hart. Maybe Julius Randle's more healthy. Maybe this Knicks team can be better than they were last year. Use your thoughts on the extension for Josh Hart and the New York Knicks. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.